Ben speaking to many of the great and the good from the Irish music entertainment since uh, lockdown and all the rest of it. Online now I've got a gentleman, a busy guy he is, uh, mainly involved in the uh, social dancing scene. Remember the social dancing scene uh, across Ireland is absolutely huge, or should I say was absolutely huge. And uh, this gentleman uh, based in County Cork, Liam Cantillon. Liam, how are you? Lovely to talk to you. Hello, Jerry. How are you getting on? Not bad at all. Nice to, nice to talk to you at long last. Indeed so, Liam. Indeed so. Uh, Liam, you, you, well, what part of Cork are you based in? Uh, I'm in a little place called Killer. It's between between Yall and Middleton. Okay, okay. Now, you're a busy... You, you, you've been involved in the music for a, a long, long time. I'm involved in the music for about 20 years, that's all. Okay. So, apprenticeship apprenticeship served at this stage. Yeah, apprenticeship. I'm just, just about... I'm just, just about served, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, you were you you were you were getting more involved. You were doing more and more in uh, in the social dancing scene uh, over those past couple of years. Yeah, I was just getting into the swing of the social dancing there, but the the coronavirus came in, then it kind of put a halt to it, you know. Indeed, so put a halt, yeah. put, a, put a put a halt to uh, to everything. Uh, what areas did you play, Liam? Was it mainly monster area? Mainly monster, monster. Yeah, I used to go for Sellers Cal and. Few more places like that, Abbey Leaks and places like that. But I used to listen to Environment at one stage as well. Okay, huge event. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to do the, um, the festival in the Stone Valley. I used to do six gigs a week down at one stage. Right, yeah. right. Excellent, mm-hmm. excellent uh, stuff out there. And uh, I, it was sad, it was uh, only recently they announced that uh, Lister and Varner wasn't going ahead. I mean, I think we all knew it wouldn't go ahead this year. That's all right, yeah. That's all right, yeah. Well, I didn't play that. I didn't play that with a couple of years now. It's, uh, that's past just four or five years ago now. As far as play that every year, but I kind of gave it up there at one stage for health reasons, and I could have went back. I could have went back there now again, maybe this year or next year. But that's the way things are going now. We'll be. I think nobody will be going anywhere. Indeed, so. Indeed, so. It's. Yeah. Uh, it's been truly. Anyhow. It's been truly incredible, uh, you know, that it's, uh, you know, of, of uh, all of the things, you know, what's happened uh, since the, uh, quite amazing how uh, an entire industry like uh, the music industry, you know, has been literally ground to a halt. It has been ground to a halt and, and the government, aren't, uh, the government aren't doing much about it. Like really just, they're not doing, they're not, um, how do they put it? And they're doing anti and yeah, you know, there's lads getting 350 quid a week, but they start to be deducted down now to 202 euros a week, I think. And, you know, you can't you can't keep going with 200 euros a week, as everybody knows. Indeed so, indeed so. It's uh, And it's it's the same, really, and it's the, uh, I think it's the, if you look at it, Liam, it's the arts in general that has been really hit. I mean, uh, be it, uh, it's all types of music, and it's also uh, theatre, it's also uh uh, you know, uh, artists, exhibitions, all of those type of things. Everything is gone. That's correct, Jerry. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, everything is gone. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. And uh, hey, tell me, what what have you been what have you been up to yourself since uh, uh, you know since the lockdown? Have you uh, have you done any Facebook lives or anything like that? I have done a good few Facebook lives. Yeah, I'm off with it. I'm now maybe the last three nights I was supposed to be on with. But um, I'll be going back on there now again for the weekend. I'll be going back on there now on Friday night again. I, I was doing um, I was doing Monday nights on Friday nights from from eight to half nine, and uh, you know, I was getting a great response, good few viewers, and but uh, you know, the last couple of weeks I couldn't do it. But I'm going back at it again as soon as as soon as I can, like you know. Indeed, indeed, it's quite amazing. Mm-hmm. It's 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 amazing, Liam. The the uh, uh, the, the, the you know the interest and the number of uh, views that uh, you know artists like yourself have it's absolutely astounding and uh, it's not alone in Ireland I mean it's it's uh, in many cases it's across the world across the world yeah across the world yeah across the world yeah there's a lot there's a lot of bands there's a lot of bands going out doing it now and you know fair play to them they're giving the people entertainment and the people like it and there's a lot of them would love to go back dancing again and they can't but sure. As first I dance around the kitchen, so the, the us guys and we're playing, and well, they'd be tell you, they'd be dancing around the kitchen, and you know, and uh, it was great to hear that they're enjoying it, like you know, and it was great to be doing some, it was great to be doing something that people are enjoying, give them a bit of relief in these times, like. 
Indeed so, indeed so. But I, I must say, you know, it's, I, I, I found it absolutely, uh, uh, you know, brilliant that uh, to see so many, uh, uh, you know, so many, many artists up and down the country, you know, doing uh, the shows and uh, uh, responding, you know, actually, respo- you know, responding back, the people are responding to them and them responding back and people requesting various songs and things like that. It was, uh, it was sort of bringing, uh, it was bringing everything uh, sort of, uh, it was from uh, your home to their home. Exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there is, yeah, there'd be a request coming in there by the new time. And uh, anything you couldn't do tonight, you'll do it the next night. Something on, they don't understand that, like, that you can't have every, you can't have every song, you can't have every song in front of you, but, you know, if you, 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 you'll go and research it and get it, and you'll have it for the next night, and you'll do it the next night for me. That's the way, that's the way it goes, with all the musicians, I think, that's out there on us. Indeed so. Yeah. Indeed, so uh, Liam, you've also yeah. done you've done some recording as well. You've recorded a couple of albums. I recorded two albums, and uh, I recorded a single. I recorded a single there lately, as well, uh, among the Wicklow Hills. Um, yeah, I must go back and I must go back and start recording again, do a few more. It's supposed to be I am to keep the name out there, like. Indeed so, indeed so. And also, yeah, one, yeah. Of, one of the songs you recorded was actually about where you uh, live, lovely uh, uh, Calais. Lovely Killer, that's right, yeah. Or killer. Yeah, it was a friend, a friend of mine, a friend of mine wrote that song. I fell by the name of Bill Dale, he's living up the road here for me. He's actually uh, a radio presenter there as well, and a radio station down here. And uh, he, wrote, he wrote that song for me, with myself. And uh, I recorded it below any Dealey Studios. Down in Belly High, down in County Kerry, and uh, got a great response around here. There was, I couldn't keep the singles going all over in Kerry. We were they were all going. So I, I, I threw a second song and the singles were like just to, just to have it, just to have it say you love me on it as well. And uh, just they were all, they were all mad for, all mad for those. Right. I, I, I don't know. I last count how many went, but there, there was a lot of them, there was a lot of them salt in the air in the air around here. That is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, a, lo- a lovely song. I mean, I, I, I've been playing a number of tracks uh, from you, and uh, definitely, it's a lovely, a lovely version, by the way, of the the latest one you did that among the Wicklow Hills. Uh, why did you record that one? I recorded it here, Tom. Did you? I recorded it here, Tom. Yeah. It was set up here on my own, and I done that here at home, and I took it up into Pat Daly there, and, and uh, we gave it another touch up and said in his system of all, and the night came out lovely. Indeed, indeed, it certainly did. It's truly amazing with, uh, uh, you know, technology, uh, how you can do that. I mean, it is, this is something that uh, even only 10 years ago you would never dream of doing. No, you couldn't do it, no. No, there's so there's much gear there now on technology, you can, you can do it at home. Yes, amazing, amazing. You can do it at home, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. I mean, all of that, uh, all of the material that you've, uh, you know, you've recorded is uh, all pretty, you know, pretty uh, popular stuff and uh, all danceable uh, music. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is uh, quick steps and waltzes and fucks, that's like that kind of stuff. But um, there's a couple of tracks there. I mean, my son was young at the time. Um, Tennessee Bard and my son Kenneth and then that he was on the. I was say about twelve, but so he sung that, and he done he done backing vocals and again and um, the merry go on the love, and my other son Brian then he was on he was on it he was on it as well, and he done the chorus as their own story for my daddy, he was uh, he was around eleven I think at that stage, yeah. Excellent stuff, excellent sort of uh, the, the music the music obviously uh, it, it sort of runs in the family. It does. The two lads are too good with their affairs, but. They want, they want, <clears throat> they want play, they want play my kind of stuff. To, they, they got some more poppy stuff, you know. Yes. I suppose going with the going with the times, you know. <laughs> <laughs> with the territory, yeah. but uh, they probably they'll come back to it. They'll come back to it, Liam. Yeah. Liam, listen, it's been lovely to catch up with you. Thanks a million for joining me. Uh, it really is appreciated. And uh, listen, I wish you all the luck in the world. Fingers crossed that. Uh, uh, yourself and everyone will be uh, out in action once again when it's safe to do so. Hopefully, Jerry, hopefully, with the help of God, with the help of God, we'll be all back, back to where we were again, which is going to take a bit of time, I think. Indeed so. Things. Indeed so. Liam, time, yeah. listen, stay safe, and it's lovely to talk to you. Thanks very much, Jerry. Thanks for me. Thank you very much.